Okay, in this video what I would like to talk about is how to calculate out the theoretical gallons per minute that will flow out of a pump at a given RPM, and then how do I calculate the efficiency of that pump based off of that theoretical calculation and the actual measurement that you're taking from your flow meter. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first important piece to this calculation is to be able to get the displacement per rotation of a pump. And what that is, is how much a pump will move when it rotates 360 degrees. Now, each pump has this value assigned to it. Each fixed pump has this value assigned to it. And that's in the user manual. So what you would need to do is take the model number, go to the, uh, go to the, uh, the manual, and then figure out what that is. And that would be a given value. Okay, so let's say we've done that and we've gone and we figured out the displacement for the pump that is in our system is 2.45 inches cubed and that is per rotation. Okay, so every time it spins 360 degrees, the pump should move 2.45 cubic inches of oil. Okay, then the next thing we have to do is to figure out how fast is the pump going to be moving. This is always a question. Well, why don't the manufacturers just tell you what the gallons per minute is? Well, the thing is the manufacturer probably doesn't know or might not know how fast this electric motor is going to be spinning. So now I went ahead and snapped a picture of a nameplate, which is up here. And as you can see, we're going to assume that this motor is rotating at 1,725 rotations per minute, okay? So now, the first step in getting the theoretical gallons per minute is to multiply these two. So we would take 2.45 times 1725, and that would equal 4,226.5 cubic inches per minute. Okay, so that's 4,226.25 cubic inches. Okay? Then, what we need to do is get that into gallons per minute. So how we do that is we take that value of 4,226.25 and we're going to divide that by 231. Okay, so we get our calculators out, 4226.25 divided by 231, and that should equal roughly 18.3 gallons per minute. And this is how you calculate what the theoretical gallons per minute that a pump can provide given the RPMs of the motor. Now, in this case, we're assuming that the motor and the pump are directly coupled. There's no variable frequency drive involved, and it's a fixed pump, and also there's no gearbox, okay? And so this is the formula to get that theoretical value. Now, I keep saying theoretical, why? Well, because out in the real world, nothing is ever gonna be 100% efficient. So what we might be doing out in the field is going through every once in a while and actually seeing what the real gallons per minute of the pump is. So what we would do is we would come here and we would put in a flow meter, okay? And sometimes these are permanently installed uh, using different types of instrumentation. Sometimes you come up with a quick disconnect, you shut the valve off, and then you read your meter. Okay, your flow meter. And then from there, we can use those values to calculate how efficient it is. So let's go ahead and try that. So let's say I come here and I shut my valve off, and then I'm looking and I hook up my flow meter. And I'm looking at it, and I, right here, I am measuring 14.5 gallons per minute. Now, that's roughly four gallons less than what I calculated out my pump should be giving me at this given RPM. So how efficient is it? Look, luckily the formula is not too bad. It's actual power divided by theoretical power. So in this case, I would take 14.5 divided by 18.3. So I grab my calculator, 
14.5 divided by 18.3, and that would equal 0.79, okay? And then because we want it in percentage, we'll multiply it by 100, and so that would give us roughly 79% efficiency of this pump, which is really good. Okay, an 80% efficient pump is, isn't bad at all. Now, as this pump ages, this will probably go down, okay? As wear and tear, all sorts of things can happen. This value of 14.5 may go down, and my percentages will start to go down. And then at some point, you may have to decide, is it time to remove this pump? Okay, because it's not giving me the efficiency that I want, and you send it out for repair and uh, replace it with a new one, okay? So I hope this helped you understand a little bit of the math behind the, uh, behind the hydraulic pump, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.